for this week's Jenna work. I had to conquer my stage fright for this one. One of the coolest jobs that I have done yet, getting transformed into a living, breathing piece of art for the iconic pageant of the Masters show in Laguna Beach. Take a look. Here we are at the Irvine Bowl. 2,600 seats out here, all of them empty, but in just a matter of hours, this audience is going to be packed and they'll all be looking at that stage right there. I should say there's one person here, Diane Chalice, director of Pageant of the Masters. Welcome to the pageant. You are going to be in a living picture tonight. Uh, this is a dream come true. Can I just tell you this? For the last 90 years, Pageant of the Masters has breathed life into art. Masterpieces recreated by volunteers live on stage. The talent that goes into constructing the sets, painting the costumes, painting the faces, I mean, making everyone look one-dimensional. Technically, it's very difficult, but remember, we've been practicing it for so long. Right. I think we've got the living picture thing down. You know who's not going to be getting practice? Me. For the first time ever, Good Day LA is going to be in the live show. So I have to run to wardrobe and makeup to get ready. Alrighty, Oyster number three, you oh can my come God, with me. me. <laughs> yes, for tonight's show, I'm playing the role of Oyster Gatherer number three in John Singer Sargent's 1878 oil painting, Oyster Gatherers of Kinkaw. Or, as Gen Zers might call it, hot girl summer at the beach. Once I get part of my costume, have you seen anything sexier? You really have it. And my wig cap on. Okay, walk me through this process. What are we doing? So we're putting on your wig cap yep. so that you can get your headpiece on later. It's time to meet up with Michelle, the makeup director. All right, ready to get started? I am ready. Okay. So, you know, also, listen, I, I got Botox like three weeks ago, so the face is already frozen. We're halfway there. A nice blank canvas. Exactly. <laughs> like many volunteers, Michelle has been here for decades, and now, so is her family. My husband and kids are in the show. My mom is one of my makeup artists. Oh my goodness! And my dad is a cast member as well. Wow! On goes the headpiece. It's very Handmaid's Tale right now. I'm going to be honest. Wow. There you go. Wow. Amazing. <laughs> this is so cool. We're ready. Good luck, Jennifer. I feel so weird. Thank you. Good luck. How do I look? Tonight I'm in what's called the Builder Set, the moment in the show where the audience gets to see how a live work of art comes together. A glimpse behind the scenes, and it always gets a big reaction. We do a quick rehearsal on stage. Yeah, you tilt your head about like that. And then wait for our turn backstage. Are we nervous? No, not really. Because <laughs> I am. <laughs> Autumn here is seven years old. I have a little bit of stage fright right now, Autumn. What advice would you give me? Just don't look. Don't look. Yeah. Don't look at the audience, right? Yeah. Just look down. Janelle is six, which makes her the show's youngest cast member. Do you ever watch Good Day LA? Good. No. <laughs> <laughs> the last of the audience files in, the curtains are down, and it's almost showtime. And let's see what goes into recreating Sargent's painting from 1878. Two cast members are guided on to the foreground wagon with the help of the crew. With the cast secured into their places, the foreground is moved into position behind the picture frame. Next, another rolling wagon unit, the background of the painting, is brought on. And as this is happening, a last-minute check of props and final poses is done. So, when everything else is ready, a signal is given, and the stage goes dark, just for a moment. And now, a John Singer Sargent, Oyster Gatherers of Kankau. Okay, Autumn, Janelle, moment of truth. What kind of grade would you give me? A, F, B, C? I think I would probably give you an A. Yay, I'll take it. You guys are both A pluses in my book. All right, thank you so much, and, and check out Pageant of the Masters here at the Irvine Bowl until September 1st. Get your tickets. Oh my gosh, that was so much fun. So I have cool. to give a huge shout out to everybody at the Pageant of the Masters, all the volunteers, Tori Elder, Love you, Diane Chalice. Thank you for making it happen. Let me tell you, my legs were shaking so hard. How long did you have to hold it? 90 seconds. Yeah, everybody has to hold like a statue still pose for 90 seconds. It's remarkable. That's such an iconic 
I think tradition in Southern California, especially in Orange County, yeah. in that area, that's beautiful yeah. how they do that. Oh, it's it's great. And general, generationally, you have volunteers who keep coming back every single year. They bring their families. Then spectators, too, they, they bring their family, too. So everybody's I mean, volunteers. just year after year. Everybody's yeah. a volunteer. 90 years. That's amazing. 90 years they've been doing it. It's good stuff. Pretty